jump, and there it is. It's gone all the way, has it? No, one bounce. One bounce for four, and Ross Taylor's picked up Test Match Century number five. A little bit of luck, but a very, very important innings for New Zealand. And he moves through to 103, and it's the fastest Test Match Century by a New Zealander. Applause all around the ground. Australia holds just the two-run advantage after two days of the second cricket test against New Zealand. Bad life brought a premature end to the day with Australia none for 35. The Black Caps were earlier dismissed for 264. It's a terrific surface. And I think the New Zealand boys will be very keen to get underway and get underway a little more positively. Yesterday was about survival, Bluey. This morning will be about some intent. Solid. And he's away this morning. Matthew Sinker pushed through the onside. And the bowler's up. Mitchell Johnson bowled it, and he's chased it. <laughs> well, they were, but they're not anymore, Macca. That has come back in from Mitchell Johnson. He's got an inside edge, has Matthew Sinclair, and Johnson has cleaned him up. It's rattled into the off stump. Yeah. That's away. Off the back foot, through that backward point area, and away for four. Oh. Oh, he's tried it again. He's tried it again, and BJ Watling was up to it. Got to see him defending very straight. Oh, what happened there? My goodness. A genuine nick, and it just found fresh air. Wonderful shot. Best of the morning. Oh, a classic off drive. They don't come much better than this. And again, Taylor through the offside, and that'll run away for four. So two boundaries in the over, and controlled boundaries too. Ross Taylor's on his way. 56 for two. In the air and away for four. No one down at third, man. Succession of boundaries all of a sudden. Three. Yes, yes. Lovely shot. That's just caressed through the offside, and that'll go for four, too. Some really good batting at the moment. Oh. It's good running. Taylor home by a country mile, and because of that aggression, he gets some bonuses. Four more you can add to the list as well. It's streaky. Four more. The stamp, the New Zealand stamp on the first hour, and Ross Taylor has confirmed it. And this partnership is 50 already in just 37 minutes. Shane Watson is going to continue, and the boundaries are going to continue, Rigger, straight after drinks. Some of the black sticks, the women's hockey team in town. Playing Argentina. Oh. Outside edge. And went down, went along the ground from BJ Watling. Oh, again, streaky outside edge. And he'll pick up four more, Ross Taylor. It'll bring up the New Zealand 100. Runs this time, but it was a little closer. Ooh. Well, there's some genuine control there. Gives him the confidence too. Well, I think he might have got a hold of that one, uh, Mark. Just a little bit over mid-wicket. Half a dozen for Ross Taylor, and 50 up for him as well off just 34 deliveries. has made the breakthrough he has disrupted this partnership which was looking so promising oh there we go oh oh i think it's through his hands mitchell johnson the man at mid on well it took us two balls to confirm our worst theories another four on the up through the offside wasn't a bad delivery it's gone for four. Oh, and he goes again. That's four more. Three, 
Third man, another edge, streaky, but four more to the total. Four more. <laughs> I mean, you just, you just let it go, don't you? Just let it go. It's just incredible. Catch! Oh, off the edge. Cries of catch it, but it fell safe. Wide a first slip. It's the thing with Nathan Horrocks at the moment. The odd ones turning a fraction. Edge gone! Well, right before lunch, Australia get a, another important breakthrough. Guptill gone. Pulled away, short, and punished by Daniel Vittori for four. Yeah, maybe one side's been cut off, Mecca, but not the other. Four more. Ryan Harris starts, and it is a rain in boundaries. Inside edge and out. Vittori goes. It was wide enough and probably there to be driven. But he just got an inside edge and it went straight through to Brad Haddon. And a big blow not long after lunch for Ryan Harris. Cut away by Ross Taylor. That'll be four. Beautifully timed. Oh, just wide of the man at gully. And away for four more. I guess it's the way Ross Taylor plays. He's always going to offer up chances because he's so expansive. That's just the way he plays. And today, Australia haven't made the most of the opportunities that have come their way. More width for Ross Taylor. And four more for Ross Taylor goes through to 99. Over the top, and there it is. It's gone all the way, has it? No, one bounce. One bounce for four, and Ross Taylor's picked up Test Match Century, number five. A little bit of luck, but a very, very important innings for New Zealand. And he moves through to 103, and it's the fastest Test Match Century by a New Zealander. The pause all round the ground. RSB day. Oh. It's a lovely touch from McCullum for the class there. Edge and Ricky Pining doesn't drop him. And now all of a sudden that bottom line reads very poorly for New Zealand. Oh, well, they've hit that kind of width, and that's a wonderful shot. But, and a no ball, so it was a free hit. And again, he gets a bit of width, and he gets six, does he? Oh, that's my, amazing. Was it uh, on the bounce? It's a brilliant bit of work. It looked for all money as if it had carried. Maybe it was on the bounce, but some sensational work. What is going on here? Did he hit it on the bounce? Did it carry? That was a catch. So he's taken it and stepped inside, Watson. Hasn't stepped down yet. Thrown it back in. Wow. That is brilliant. Oh, Taylor goes again. They won't get within kill you that even if they're sitting in the beer tent. That's big. That's massive. That is big and straight. Oh, oh boy. Get one. Oh, that was just a gift. Absolute gift with that field set. That's six more. What's going on here? Crowd loving it. Sure, Nathan Horrocks is or Ricky Ponding for that matter. 220 for six all of a sudden. Wow. Yes, coach. Well, that's through. Yeah, the man at Gully couldn't get onto it. Michael Hussey diving away, but and that's more runs. Whether it's off the bat or off the iPad, I think it's off the bat. Yes, it is. Edged and gone. Ricky Ponting again takes the catch at second slip. Boundary or the single. Boundary sinking, is that out? Big appeal by the Australians. I think we're going to see a referral. Ricky Ponting's asked for it straight away. It's just that little noise. I must admit, 